Roman here and today I'm going to be showing you how I form my extra extra large sunflower heads. Now to get to that process I first start with a two and a quarter inch chisel, a three pound sledgehammer, and a two by four. So let's get into making them. Once you get the first one, you just kind of just, I usually work around uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, it doesn't matter. I've noticed that like on ones like this where you put in a harder crease that's bent up the harder it is going to be to bend it whereas one that's not as bent back it would be easier so it's really up to you and what type of look you're going for I like to do a little bit of both just to give it that nature look because nothing in nature is perfect so just each one to the desired look that we're going for. Looking kind of like that. Okay, we have finished doing the creases. And forming the petals and now it's time to stack them and decide which one you like better for the front and then the back and then from there you're just gonna adjust it around until they sit in the grooves of each other okay we finished doing our tacks and I did about four on each one just to get a good pull. And I did use some anti-spatter spray just so that those BBs don't get in these places on the petals because they're a nightmare to try to get off. And then I took a wire wheel on this side where the, the tacks were just to get that heat off of it so that when we go to rust it, that heat won't be on there. Now that we got this all tacked up, I like to try to figure out what I think is the best um, position to put at the top. And then I always put a little mark there so that I'll always know so that when I go to put on my center, I'll be able to adjust it and make sure that I don't lose where my top is. And then I'll just adjust it around until we find a good spot for it. That looks pretty good. And then we're gonna tack it up. Okay, so here it is all tacked up. And 
then I did keep that reference mark up there so that when I go to attach it to the stems that it all stays in line as I want it to be. sunflowers are now complete. This project right here, the customer asked that this go outside by their front door. So this project needed to be able to stand up on its own and also have stability because it would be in the ground. So what I did was I took a quarter inch piece of rebar and I cut three inch sections, eight of them, and I staggered them along the piece of rebar to give it branches and give it that good stability while it would be able to be in the ground only showcasing the sunflowers themselves. The customer also requested that all three of the sunflowers be rusted. And in order to do that at a more rapid pace, I'm going to be using some white vinegar, some salt, uh, table salt is fine, and some hydrogen peroxide. And what it does is when all three ingredients are combined on the middle, it has a chemical reaction that causes rust. So let's get started. Okay, I'm first going to start with the vinegar and I like to lay down my pieces so that I get good coverage because especially with the vertical pieces they tend to want to um, the liquids especially want to run off faster and I want to, to kind of sit on the metal then next I'm going to lightly sprinkle on some salt Then I'm gonna finish it with lightly finish it with some hydrogen peroxide. And you can kind kind of see already where the salt sits, it will immediately start to get that brown color. process I did three coats of this rust-oleum hammered clear I love this for all of my flowers that I do my sunflowers my roses my tulips because it gives a nice little bumpy texture while giving me that clear coat that I really need to stop the rusting process or just make my projects look even better thanks for watching this project of me making the extra extra large sunflower it has been a learning process for me and hopefully you picked up some new tricks as well. And you can always follow me on Instagram and Facebook at The Welder Woman.